We can see all of that cold air getting into the north central part of the U.S. Here in Baltimore, we're still in the upper 40s to low 50s, certainly above average for this time of year. 52 in Baltimore downtown, 48 in Westminster. Off to our east near Cambridge, we're at 46, 43 in Salisbury, and 49 in Ocean City. Here's a look at our satellite and radar area of high pressure anchored off to our south. Little stationary front bringing in cloud cover overnight tonight and the chance for some showers as we go through the day on Sunday. It doesn't look like anything in the way of heavy rain. We'll take a look at future cast here in a minute, but talking about overnight tonight, many of us staying dry and under partly cloudy skies, 34 downtown for an overnight low, actually a few degrees above where we were last night, 38 in Dundalk, 37 in Pasadena, 35 in Sykesville, also there in Bel Air and also Hampstead. So increasing clouds late tonight and then tracking rain chances for your Sunday. Here's a look at 8 a.m. Just mostly cloudy in Baltimore, looking good if you're trying to get out early, maybe run any of those errands, get in the morning run. But then as we head through the lunchtime hour, this is a look at noontime, wet weather starts to creep in. Now I will say it does look like this moisture is running on the light side, so just some passing shower chances lunchtime and thereafter. It will not be an all-day washout event, and this will be very quick moving. So by the time we head into Sunday evening, already starting to clear things out. And for the start of the work week, we're not tracking rain, but unfortunately the cloudy sky is going to hang on tightly. So as you take a look at your Sunday planner, remember the morning hours looking good to get out, get things done. 12 o'clock through about 2 p.m., that's when those showers will be pushing on through, so keep the umbrella on hand. One thing to note for your Sunday, although these temperatures are in the 50s, our winds are going to be cranking up. Peak wind gusts near 25 miles per hour, so it'll feel colder than that. Definitely want to make sure you secure things outdoors. And then as we head into Sunday night, we're under mostly cloudy skies and uh, the rain will begin to wind down. Another thing to note is that Arctic air starts to get in here first wave on Tuesday and then another kind of wave coming in through the later half of the week. So here's a look at our seven day forecast. We're at 50 degrees for a daytime high tomorrow tracking passing shower chances through the afternoon. Then as we head into the early half of the week, Monday looks pretty mild before that cold front gets here. I think we could pos possibly push 55 degrees. Then we fall cooler Tuesday with highs in the low 40s. And yes, the chance for some additional passing showers.